I know I have not been with you for a while, and I apologize for that. But we are back with a bang. Welcome to the Leaders Chat Room, where we discuss all things leadership. Now, if you have been part of my channel and following all our videos, thank you so much for all your support what and your staying power if it's your first time on my channel then welcome and join us for this ride in the leaders chat room we discuss all things leadership all right many truth bombs are thrown and we get into the heart of the matter leadership is a very practical thing so i will bridge all the science as well as the art in leadership and more specifically we are going to focus on assisting CEOs along this leadership journey. Today, we are going to discuss burnout in CEOs. Burnout in CEOs. Now, let me say this. Some people don't realize how burnt out CEOs are and how burnt out heads of organizations are. Many times, persons look at them and think that they got it made. They hardly work, they hardly in office, and they think that, you know, they drive their fancy cars and all of these things and everything is a-okay. But the truth is, many, many, an incredible amount of CEOs are burned out. And not just burned out physically, but burned out mentally, burned out emotionally. It is a very heavy heavy load if you are a ceo who is burnt out or on the verge of burnout, out or you know a ceo who is burnt out or on the verge of burnt out tell them join in when it comes to leading and holding that apex position it is a heavy heavy weight the buck literally stops with you you are the one whether you are aware of it or not so let me set the scene you may be the ceo of an organization you may have founded your organization and you're now at a million us revenue or you you know have grown you have 10 million us revenue or even 100 million us revenue or you might be a multinational a conglomerate at every level even in the multinational structure, the country managers, the regional heads, they will experience significant burnout. Once you sit in an apex seat, you will experience burnout. And you need to understand why, and you need to understand how to ward it off and how to manage that. When it comes to leadership, and our approach at Safia Group and Safia Johnson Leadership, we believe in that CEO Mastery 6 approach where it's broken into two categories. The first category is establishing the leadership around you because if you don't have the right people in the right place with the right know-how, with the right attitude and mindset, burnout is inevitable. And the second component is advancing the leadership within you. If you have not built up certain muscles, certain techniques, and your own mindset to manage yourself and all that will come along with carrying this weight, then burnout will be inevitable. So we're talking about establishing the leadership around you and advancing the leadership within you. I will touch on two components, one under each category. The first major component is finding the right people. I cannot tell you how much this is a big issue for leaders. Apex leaders, CEOs, heads of organizations, they are chained to their organization. They are chained to their desks. You are chained to your desk, CEO, because you do not have the right people around you. You have been looking for them so long that you are now beginning to think that they don't exist. The truth is they do. But there is a reason why you have not found them. There is a reason why. And the thing is, we only, after the person has started working for us, start to assess whether they are the right fit. We look at their resume. We sit in an interview with them. 
and we think, okay, this person is excellent. Let's bring them in. But the truth is, you cannot just look at what somebody has accomplished. All right? You also have to consider or take into consideration what you will want them to accomplish in your organization, given your organizational culture, given your organizational history and the trajectory of where you want to take the organization. And does their now experience and qualification allude to they are able to accomplish this? We only start to assess this other part while they are working. You want to assess that before. You want to know what your right leaders in your given positions, what do they look like? What do they sound like? And I'm not just talking about your job specs. I'm not just talking about the job description. I'm talking about getting into the virtues, you see? And that it factor that you may be looking for that is perfect for your environment. Someone who will come in and take on that organization as if it's their very. You're looking for people like that. Where do you find them? Where do you find them is that the biggest issue is who do you need? What do they look like? What do they sound like? What are those qualities? If you don't articulate this, then you wouldn't know where to go and find what you're looking for because you're not really sure who you're looking for. You're not really sure. And when you are not sure who you are looking for, you can go through a hundred people and say, no, that's not it. No, he's not it. No, she's not it. But what is it? Articulate that it articulate it. It may take you some time, but articulate it. And after you have articulated it, then you can go off and look for it because then you are very clear on what it is. Your HR team become very clear on what it is. I have worked with many, many leaders, all right, before in my career, right now in my leadership practice. And I'm telling you, there is an it. There are qualities to these exceptional leaders. And you have to figure out what they are. Besides the pillars that we have coming into an organization, there are additional factors that are very, very critical to your specific organization, to your specific industry, to your specific stage of development in that business cycle. They're very, very specific for that season of the organization. All of these things are critical. Without them, you are going to be standing alone with that bag in your hand and burnout will set in. And when burnout sets in, it sets in and it is damaging. It can damage your personal relationships, which are critical to keep you balanced and happy. It can damage your health and that is true wealth. It will, it will damage your ability to even really make as much money as you can make in the organization and as a head of organization. The other factor I want to touch on besides finding and knowing and understanding the right people is that whole element of the power within you. And there are different factors as I said but I'm focusing on this too. The power within you and I'm not just talking about positional power. Positional power is weak as a factor to really produce exceptional results. Positional power requires you to always be there because once you remove that positional force, people generally do what they want. So you want now to get people to want what you want. You want to get people to espouse your vision as their own. You want them to take it into themselves and run as if they came up with it themselves. And that is the kind of power that resides within you that you need to unleash in your organization. If you have not done so, you are going to find yourself chained to the organization and burnout will set in. Burnout from all kinds of levels, even decision fatigue, it will set in. On my website, you can actually sign up to get a video where I discuss the hidden traps that often ensnare CEOs. And you're going to hear me talking in more detail about these two. I want to encourage you to take some time to understand the level and depth and far-reaching impact of the power that resides within you as a leader and your ability to ignite. You are the spark that will ignite your people to go to the next level. But if your spark is going thin, if you are weary, if you are tired, you right now need a spark. Perhaps this video may be the spark for you. But I want to encourage you that you have it. And that is something that I work with leaders to get. Getting that spark, getting that unction, 
as the CEO so that it's almost you feel like you can clone, you wish you could clone yourself or if you could transplant your brain into somebody else's brain, it's through your power you do. It is through your power you do it. That inherent power within you to impact, to connect, to ignite others, to motivate others, to inspire others, to cause people to dream and to run after things. Do not neglect that power within you. If you have not yet accessed it, listen to me, you are yet to scratch the surface to see what you can do and your organization can do through you and your team. I want to encourage you, do not stay burned out. Burn out is damaging. Burnout will cost you everything. It will cost you all the years of hard work you have already put in, in your career or your business. Get a handle on it. All right? So, I hope this video was useful. If you need more information, as I said, this was just two of the CEO Mastery 6, and we just literally put it in a summary. This thing is deep. And then I have not even gotten into the Just Lead Pillars for Effective Leadership. There's so many elements to this that you are yet to ignite. And once you do not have these elements working on your behalf, you are going to remain doing out as a CEO. All right? That is a good place to start. Take some time and work on those two elements. And I want you to give me some feedback on how it has gone. Give me some feedback on if it made a difference for you. I assure you, if you take your time and you do it the way you're supposed to, it will make a significant difference. So until next time, See you. Bye.